hi guys hi foodies welcome to the channel if today's your first time stopping here a warmly welcome to you and to my OGs gang gang you are the real mvps today i bring you a tantalizing delicious fresh fish stew recipe so stay tuned who knows the name of this fish in english i don't know the name of this fish in english but in every it is called blue devi so we are coming to do blue devi tadi meaning fresh fish the name of the fish is called blue devi so fresh fish stew i have different different fresh fish stew recipes on this channel so check them out also okay so we are cleaning the fish what she's doing is just removing the intestines and every unwanted part of the fish that's what we are doing cleaning the fish so this is not just the size of this fish it can grow very big i think it is in the family of mud fish catfish family but this this is the white one like i don't know if somebody knows the english name of this fish please let the person leave a comment okay tell us the name so we will all learn from it so she's done removing the intestine so we are just taking the fins and all those unwanted parts cleaning that part too of cutting it off so it's time to make the stew and i have our pepper over here we have some boy basic squash scotch bonnet pepper has our onion we'll be using ginger garlic calabash nutmeg anise seed all for this stew guys the secret to making a tantalizing fresh fish stew is onion yes just onion onion is just a secret to making a tantalizing fresh fish stew and if you want to spice it up if you want it like the game changer is calabash nutmeg add calabash nutmeg to your next fresh fish stew and thank me later So we are done washing our ingredients just go ahead and start grinding it if you have your blender also use it okay so that's anise seed i'm adding it's called a haliwe calabash nuts make ayiku and onion salt add a little bit of water to help the grinding process so grind grind this is my blender my hand is my blender our pepper is well grind so we'll go ahead and add our fresh tomatoes to this stew by now i think most of you will be conversant with making fresh fish stew because i think this is the third fresh fish stew i'm making on this channel okay they are all almost the same process so our pepper mix is done i'm teaching you how to set fire locally in coal pots so that's our diesel or and uh, that's our diesel our uh, uh, i don't know how they call that one Pelebe. <laughs> and matchstick and our fire is set go ahead and put a silver a pot anything you cook your food in and fire just add some water pour some water in the pot and this is our fish those yellow yellowish things on it is the slime this fish is very slimy that's why we are heating the water 
so we'll add our water to it to aid in cleaning it that's how this fish is being cleaned when you are going to use this fish for stew or soup fresh like this you clean it with warm water not hot water if you use hot water the water is too hot the fish is going to tear okay so you use make sure you use warm water if you have lime you can add lime too but warm water always works perfectly so i'll wash it about two to three four times as much as you can or you have seen that the slime is out of it wash it So this fish can grow really 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 big it can grow it I, as i said earlier it's in the family of mad fish catfish family already so as the how big uh, catfish and mad fish grows that's how this fish also grows <laughs> Just showing you how the gills that place look like everything is washed everything is clean perfectly clean so we are good to go we are good to start making our stew oh so in a silver i'll just add some palm oil yeah jomi add onion So our oil is hot enough, so we just add our tomato and pepper mix. The stew has just begun. So we'll stir our stew to prevent it from sticking to the pot. <laughs> Guys, I just realized that my pot is not big enough and it's not flat as I wanted. So we are going to change the silver. We are going to change it. Though this one too is not big enough, but it's better. It will do a better job than the first. So we are transferring our steel into a different silver. I have one onga shrimp tablet here. We'll just add that to the steel. Seasoning cube. Stir it gently. Then our fish goes in the steel. In making fresh fish stew, make sure the stew itself is well seasoned before you add your fish because if you add the fish to the stew you won't have the opportunity or you won't get the opportunity to maybe be stirring it so you'll be able to add much uh, seasoning to the stew much seasoning to the stew so make sure your stew is well prepared is well seasoned before you add the fish to it okay so at this stage i didn't allow the stew to cook all through but i've added all the seasoning that needs to be added and I've add, I'm adding the fish so that the stew can get cooked with the fish. That's all we are doing. As you can see, our silver is not big enough. But haha, <laughs> we are going to do arrangement, management in living. For everything to stay inside jelly jelly. You can cut it into two or into pieces. But I want it whole like this. It's not big so I don't want to divide it. Yeah. 
I know at this stage, mm, you guys are salivating. Don't tell me you like this food. You don't feel like eating this. It is a really delicious food. Most Ghanaians have eaten this fish, but in its smoke form. Yeah, this fish is mostly found in water. This particular fish is mostly found in water in Ghana here. So most people have eaten it, but in the smoke form, not the fresh form. Guys, our stew is done. But you know me now, if you are an OG on this channel, you should know that the stew is not done. As at done, done. If there were some things didn't like accompany it at the end. But push it to end. <laughs> there is no onion at the end, so the stew is not done. You know now, we like onion on this channel. We just swell every we just swell it around when you want to stir just swell it we don't want the fish to scatter so you swell it that's our way of stirring that's why you you make sure the fire is not high mm -hmm. our food is done look at how i've served myself and we are enjoying ourselves guys let's eat okay this food is very delicious next time when you go to water ask of blood vita d or with it, any fresh fish stew, and I bet you, you will love it. It will be maybe one of your best food, one of your favorite food. It will become one of your favorite food. Guys, hope I've inspired you and you have learned something new. See you next in another video. Until then, keep trying new recipes. Stay safe. I love you all. Bye-bye. <laughs>